Hello, MacWarriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of MacWarrior Online. It is time to play the Sleipnir again because I wanted to play something that has a lot of shotguns. And the mech here can do that. As you can see, we are running four big LB10X shotgun cannons on the chest piece of this beautiful mech. And we're gonna just wreak havoc today. Cool thing about the LBXs is that they are not really that hot, so they only generate two heat per. They have a bit of a spread, but each individual pellet that you shoot from those shotguns has an individual critical hit chance, which means they are really good at open components. When the enemies are exposed, have no armor anymore, then we're gonna shred them and let the ammo go off and we destroy weapon systems and, and electronics and all of that, and it's beautiful. The drawback is that we have to use a standard engine since all of our slots are taken by the weapon systems here. So no XL, no light engine, and that means we have to drop it rather low to only 280. But we are still running 50 kph, which is still good enough, and as you can see, the rest of the mech is just ammunition. We even had to strip down the ARPs for additional tonnage that we can use all of those LBXs here, but it's a very straightforward build that works, it's very easy to use, you just aim at your enemies in the general direction and then you shoot a cone of individual small cluster pellets and you see the enemies die in front of you, and that's what we're doing today. Let's take a look at the skills before we dive into the games here, and as you can see, I was going for LBX spread 1 and 2, so that our spread is a little bit narrower. We also have magazine capacity 1 and 2, so we have more ammunition, and then more importantly, we got cooldown maxed out because I wanted to be able to shoot as often as possible when I'm on the battlefield and when I have an enemy in front of us. We also go for maximum survivability here because I uh, I kind of consider this mech a brawler and therefore I want to have as many armor and as many structure points as possible. I'm skipping AMS because we are not using an anti-missile system and that one point of reinforced casing is not really relevant, therefore we can skip it as well. Instead, we're gonna put our points into rated deprivation. We have 60% of that which means that we can do some nice defensive maneuvers. And then we have two artillery strikes and two UAVs that are helping us out on the battlefield. We can technically go for cool shots. Take it if you think you need it. You can see in the second game, at some point, I'm running a little bit hot with consecutive fire, but um, I think those are really helpful for area denial, for extra damage, and for, you know, UAV uh, discovery here. That's the build, everybody. Wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, first game of the day. We are playing the Mining Collective. We are playing Skirmish. And we certainly go to the Echo 4 area. Enemies will most likely be in Echo 5 and maybe set up a firing line there. But I think we can break that firing line with what we have here. We have ECM. We have the Timber Wolf as well as a Hellbringer. But in terms of our Assault Max... Okay, Never mind. I wanted to say there's not much here. But we have three dire wolves as well as an annihilator here. All right. All right, we got six assault mags. That's interesting. You want to go all the way to the right side, guys? All the way? Or do you want to go to Echo Fire? No, you're not. Okay, you have a problem there, buddy. Ooh, good UAV, I gotta say. Um, do we attack Echo 5 or take center? What, what's the plan here? Timber Wolf is moving forward, so I'm gonna move with him. We will have some time until our big guys are arriving. That is very good information. So we are not taking Echo 5. Echo 5 is too hard. Let's move around. Right side. Fox 5. Okay, um, that's uh, an LBX Roughneck, and I need to help out here. Yeah, just abandon center. It's not worth it. Let's go to the right side. Let's go and take that Roughneck, ideally. Maybe there's something more. Probably. Probably. Let's go Heat Vision and see what we can do. The Roughneck is under heavy pressure already by a bunch of our mechs, and I want to join that fight, and I want to see if I can get some damage out as well. So let's join it right now. Okay, Ruffy, left side. Yeah, no, never mind, you're dead. Target. Cannot fire anymore. You cannot get shot at when you're dead. I drop Adi right on this edge, and then we're gonna go over here, I think. Okay, Blackjack. Get out of my face. Hmm, yeah, too late now. Too late. So my artillery strike is doing some work here. My hard points are too low. Oh, there's stuff. There is stuff. That's a... Yeah, that's my guy. I'm gonna take that dire wolf, ideally. Yeah, you know what? We don't have to run over here. We can go over here to where the dire wolf is sitting and then go in their backs. That's a better idea in general. I will attack this guy. He's also narked. He has a lot of AC2s. But we have the high ground now, and you know what we have when we have the high ground, right? Yeah, it's over, Anakin. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's attack here. The back of the whacker! One shot, one kill! Here we go. Artillery strike in this general direction. Um, the ECM is helpful, but the enemies know that we are here. 
And we also have a Dyer down there, which cannot attack us right now, which is good. Ooh, yes, they were waiting for it. Gotta make sure that I'm not getting blocked too much. Mm. Got some damage out on the Marauder, though. And we got the Marauder. Number two! Down! Are they waiting? Yes, they are. Okay. It's fair. It's fair, it's fair, it's fair. I should change pattern. Um, this is not a good spot for us anymore. The main fight is happening on the other side of the battlefield, so let's go and try to get something done there instead. If the enemies are watching this, then we're gonna go and do something else. This Atlas, by the way, half down. This is perfect. So let's get back into the fight and shoot our weapons. Atlas pu pushing forward in a desperate attempt, but look at those guys setting up that kill box. I love it. It is huge. Absolutely fantastic. Guys on the high ground, we're gonna give them a shot while we are moving. And now we're gonna try to take this here, Fafnir. Yeah, he's dead. Nice. All right. Next up. Ah, I thought he was coming. He wasn't. Um, but yeah, you know what? Let's get the Dire Wolf. Oh, Nightstar. Can I? I can't. No, I can. But the Dire is still here. Ooh, didn't see the Dire in the first place, but he is still there, in fact. Nightstar is also uh, sitting up there. It's not over. Enemies are behind us. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, let's go for him. Okay, got a kill. Eight and four. Get this guy. We have all of our weapons still. Nice follow-up there. Oh, this is beautiful. My friends are doing a wonderful job. Also, Light Mac right next to us. I'm gonna try to attack this guy. Um, boop. Oh, not quite. Let's wait here. Uh-huh, he's gonna pull back. And we're gonna go and intercept him here. Oh, not dead. What? Uh, yeah, he's going to move around all the way. We're gonna intercept him here. Anticipation, guys. I hope I got it right. Is he going in or is he disengaging? He's still being targeted. That was very good from my teammates there. Delta 4, let's go. He's the last dude on the battlefield. Uh, Delta 4 is a javelin. I think he went to the tunnel. Probably going to Delta 3. And then back to Echo 3. Oh, he is. Okay. And boom. Nope. Oh, no. Tato Po. Tato Po got the hit. I aimed a little, a little higher because I thought he was jumping more. And then he dropped and I shot high. And then Tato Po got it. Well done, team. That was amazing. It was a fun fight. We had three killing blows, six assists, two kill most damage dealt, 729 damage done, and 335 taken with seven components destroyed. That was just the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing the Canyon Network. We are playing uh, Assault. Alright, everybody is spawned together here in one big bulk, which is quite nice. I love that. And obviously we are pushing right towards the center of the map because this is where everybody is going. It kind of just feels natural pressing that W button and just get your mech moving into the combat zone, right? And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. The big question is, do we stay in the outskirts and shoot a little bit of early damage with our LBXs at range? Or do we want to be in the center of the map already and be the one that gets probably engaged early and often. I think I'm gonna go for the first one. Yeah, there are PPCs on the board. I already hear them. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna stay somewhat in the outskirts. By the way, this is our PPC shooting. The enemies retaliate with some ACs, I would say. Yeah, let's go. Let's see if we can find somebody on the high ground and uh, maybe, maybe get some shots out. It's important that we're gonna stay in motion because a moving target is a harder to hit target. And the enemies are probably, probably over here. Not there anymore. You know what, I'm gonna take this ramp. Ah, uh, yes, 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 that's what I thought. So, the closer we are, the more likely we are getting hit. Thunderbolt, okay. Top dog, very damaged already. I'm gonna move up here on this ramp. Okay, can you come? Can you? Alright, he's moving in, that's good. That's very good. I'm gonna try to hold this uh, position a little bit. Just wanna see. Enemies are close. Uh, Direwolf is coming with us. We are getting hit by PPC. So this is overwatched. I cannot push up there. It is not possible. We're gonna abandon the spot. We're gonna try to go with our fast movers and try to get something done. Seems like our friendlies, um, the big assault makes, are setting up a firing line to trade with uh, our enemies. What we need is to be uh, in the center of the map. Somewhat closer to our enemies, but still in a position where we have cover. And when the enemies are hopefully getting distracted by our flankers, then it is our time to shine. Alright, let's overwatch still. Let's keep a keen eye on the outskirts before we swivel over to the center. It's risky. It's really risky what I'm doing here. Getting shot in the back by a friend, but that's okay. Is he gonna come through? I know that there's a guy right in front of me. 
I'm gonna put a UAV up. There's a guy. Okay. And yeah, this is what I was waiting for. There's enough distraction now. We are going in. I'm gonna cut across. Damn it. Can I get the Thunderbolt? Possibly. But not very likely. This guy. Okay. T-Bolt is down. Mmm, bad shot. Okay, we're gonna dive down to cover because I don't want to get any shots from the long-range dudes that are doing things right now. I'm gonna help out... Oh, these guys are aggressive against our firing line. Um, I'm gonna help out by being here on the flank. Okay, that's it. Ooh, yes. Give me another one. Uh-huh. Yeah, you are a brawler as well. Base is being captured. Now that's fun. Yeah, he cannot go anywhere right now. I'm gonna stay on him. Can only shoot legs here, but that's still damage. Uh, careful with the shots. Still hitting the legs. And maybe he has ammo in there? Yeah, he probably has. That might be an ammo explosion. Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if it was, but there was enough damage to kill him. Hello, mister? We're actually getting a little bit hot. So, component destroyed. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to hear. Mm-hmm. Okay. We still have Arty Strikes ready. Not the best shot in the world. I don't like that we are so hot right now. <laughs> but hey, we got a bunch of kills already, and that's good. Okay, we go for the Dire Wolf. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cooling down. Yeah, everybody is here setting up the high ground. I cannot move up. Ah, there we go. Um, everybody is here set up on the high ground. That guy dead? Yeah, he is very dead. We're gonna cut across here. We're gonna use this uh, kind of hammer anvil situation uh, in our favor. Mm-hmm. Cicada, hello. Got him. And we're gonna go over here because those guys will come from this area. He is a brawler, though. The Marauder 2C. That's a Scorch. We are 8-1, though. This is it. This is where we go all in. Don't stop here! No! Hate it. Hate it when I'm getting blocked. <laughs> okay. This is it. Ugh, not even able to get anything done anymore. I was too late for the party. Should have made that decision 30 seconds earlier, and I would have been part of this. Sometimes, sometimes you play it safe, and then it's not enough. But we work as a team, and that worked perfectly here. Enemies were very aggressive into the rotation to our base, and uh, we still had that solid block there. The flankers were fast enough to react and respond to that. I was in the center of the map instead of going all the way around, so I could react as well. And... We got 690 damage out with 4k MDDs. That's really good. We got also a killing blow, 10 assists, as well as 104 damage taken with 4 components destroyed. And that, my friends, was your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.